bacteria with a limb of soft zero. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. In one video, we learned about soft C rule. Do you remember? Yeah. So soft G rule is very similar to soft C rule. In soft C rule, what was the normal sound of C? K. Yes, K, K, C. Likewise, in G rule, the normal sound of G is, what is the normal sound of G? G. G, G. Very good. What is the soft sound of C? S. Yes. In soft C rule, C took the sound of alphabet S, right? It yeah. sounded s, s, as soft. Likewise, in G rule, when it becomes soft, it will take the sound of alphabet J. How J sounds? J, J. Yes, J, J. So, normal or hard G is G, G. Soft G is J, J. Okay? okay. What is normal or hard C? How does it sound? K, K. Yes. What is a soft C? How does it sound? S. Yes. So what is the normal G or hot G sound? G, G. Very good. What is the soft G sound? J, J. Very good. You got it, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we'll write some examples. Yes. And before that, for finding the place where C sounds soft, we had a rule, right? Yeah. What was the rule? You have the page open? Yes. Very good. So, when C is followed by I, E or Y, it sounded soft, right? Yeah. Same rule applies to G also. Okay. Now, we'll write the same I, E, Y again. Okay. Okay. Okay, write here. Here, write I, E, Y again. Okay. Same I, E, Y. When G is followed by I, E, Y, it goes soft. It takes J sound. Okay? okay. Else it will take the normal G sound. We will write some examples. Write G O. G -O. Read this. G this is normal G sound because G is not followed by I, E or Y. Right? Yeah. So it is normal G sound. So now read. K go. 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 Very good. Okay. Now write G Y M. Now, G is followed by I, E or Y. What is, what it is followed by? Y. Y. So, it should go soft, right? Yeah. Now, say J, J. Okay. J, 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 J. Yeah. No, it's not. In Y rule, we learned, right? Y comes in the middle. It takes short, short I sound. Yeah. So, it's E. J. 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 G, E, G. G, G. Very good. Jim. Now write G, E, M. Okay. Now G is followed by E. Is E is in this group? Yes. So it should be hard or soft? Soft. So what it should sound? It should sound J. Mm. Now read. J, J. Gem? Yes, gem. You know what is gem? Gem is a stone. Gem is a sparkling stone. You can make ornaments with it. It's a sparkling stone. Like diamond. Next word, G. P. E. I. I. R. R. A. F. One more F. E. Okay, can we read this? Okay. First, find out if G is hard or soft. What is this letter? It's I. Is this letter in this group? Hmm? Yes. Where it is? Right there. Yeah. Yes. So, this is hard or soft? Soft. So, how it should sound? J. J. Mm. J. 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 Mm. A. Giraffe. Very good. Giraffe. Okay. For, for I... E and Y. We saw examples. G can come in the beginning or even in the middle or end, right? We'll see examples for that also, okay? Write T, H, I, I, N, G. Now, in this, G is hot or soft. What is followed by G? 
Nothing. Yes. So nothing is followed. So it it is not followed by I, E, or Y. So it it will be hard. If only if it is followed by I, E, or Y, it will go soft, right? Yeah. So this will be hard. Okay. Okay. So now read. It will take the usual sound, g g sound. Read. T. Okay. Okay. This is. This T H is called digraph. It takes the sound of. Oh. We'll learn about that in the next video, okay? Okay. Now this is th th, okay? Th 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 hmm. think think thing thing. It's a pencil is a thing, an eraser is a thing. That thing, okay? Okay. Thanks. Next word P A G E. Now G is followed by E. Yeah. Is E in this group? Mm, yeah. So G will go hard or soft? Soft. Yes. So what's the sound of G here? Ch ch. Yeah. Now read this. A a pa. Wait 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 wait. It's not pa. This E E is at the end, so it follows a magic E. Magic E rule. Oh yeah. So how should E sound? A. Yeah, very good. So now, a pay. Very good. Ch page. Very good. Page. Page. It's a page of a book. Okay. Now next next word. M A G I C. Okay. Now what follows G? I. Yes. Is I in this group? Yeah. So G is hard or soft? Soft. So. It should sound. It should sound. J. Very good. Now read this. E A M A J M A J E M A J E E insect E M A J E Magic. Very good. Magic. Okay. One more example. E N E R G Y. Now what is followed by G? Y. Is Y in this group? Mm, yeah. So G is hard or soft? Soft. So it should sound J J. Now read it. A N N N A N N R N R N R N R J N R J R. Wait. So energy is how many syllables? N O G. Yeah, it's more than two syllables. It's not in one syllable word, right? Mm -mm. So for only one syllable word, Y comes at the end. It will take I sound. Yeah. For others, it will take long E sound. Yes. So it will be E. Now read energy. Energy. E. E. Energy. Very good energy. So this is the hard and soft G rule, but in any rule there will be an exception, right? Yeah. So we'll see the exceptions of G rule. See in all these words, G is followed by I, E, or Y. See G is followed by E, right? Yeah. And this is in the group. G is followed by I. G is followed by I, and it it, it is in this group. Here also G is followed by I, and it is in this group. And all, in all these words, G is followed by E, and it is in this group. But still, all these are not soft. Hmm? These are hard. That's why these are called exceptions. Okay. Okay. Can you read this? Read it hard. Okay. G G sound. G E T Get. Very good. So this is get, give, girl, gift. Okay, these are all exceptions. Okay? okay, and in all these words, it ends with e r. This is tiger, anger, singer, finger. So if it ends with e r, then it should always be hard. Okay? okay, if it is followed by just e, it will be soft. Okay. But if it is followed by e r, it will be hard. Okay? okay, you can call this as G finger rule because finger ends with er, right? Yeah. Likewise, singer, anger, tiger, 
whatever sounds like finger whatever ends with er then g should go hard okay and only these are some exceptions okay okay there is one more uh, rule in this the last rule that is double g rule it means 2g okay we'll see some examples these are all double g rules okay why do they say arrows because this is the root word of this word see this is dog yeah this is doggy so doggy word has come from dog right yeah all the doggy stuffs so dog is the root word right yeah likewise this is fog this is foggy you know what is fog that means there are a lot of clouds yes very good so if it is if there are more fog we will say it's foggy right yeah so foggy word is derived from the root word fog so fog is the root word foggy is the word derived from that that's why i have put arrow okay okay so dog doggy this is wag you know what is wag no if a dog wags his tail that is called wagging yeah okay so wag wagging the root word of wagging is wag okay okay and this is vegetable vegetable veggies we can call it as a veggies right yeah so these are all short forms or derived forms from this and these are all the root word these are all the main word and these are derived from that okay, okay. so in in these words in all the words you can see double g right yeah see foggy doggy wagging veggies if you see these three are hard foggy g g sound doggy hard sound g g wagging g g sound right yeah but here veggie j j soft sound yeah so this double g can take hard or soft sound it depends on its root word so if the root word see what is the root word here this is fog right yeah so here g is hard so all the words derived from it will be hard fog so it's foggy here in the root word it is dog g is hard right yeah so doggy also will be hard okay in wag g is hard right yeah so in wagging also g will be hard okay but in vegetable vegetable j j here g takes soft sound right yeah why it takes soft sound because g is followed by e here e is in this group right yeah so in this root word it is taking soft sound because it is followed by e vegetable but in the derived word in the derived word though it it follows i i is in this group right yeah but in the derived word when it is coming with double g you don't want to see what it follows you just have to look at the root word yeah if the root word has soft sound this also will have soft sound okay if the root word had hard sound this also will have hard sound here vegetable here it has soft sound g has soft sound so in veggies here g will have soft sound you got this point yeah so if it is double g you have to always check for the root word if the root word is hard the derived word also will be hard okay if the root word is soft the derived double g word also will be soft okay that's it so soft g rule is very easy right yeah we'll do a recall normal g takes the sound of g g g grapes soft g takes the sound of j j very good j j giraffe and if g is followed by i e or y it goes soft and for double g the sound depends upon the root word and one more rule is that finger rule right yeah whatever ends with e r like finger singer tiger anger then g will go hard okay. so hard finger g rule okay okay show your hard finger yeah that's you you're making g with your finger <laughs> okay so hard finger g rule if, if if it ends with e r it will be hard g and as usual we saw some exceptions okay. that's it this is so simple right yeah 
So in the next video, what we are going to learn? Yes, th th ch ch diagrams. We'll learn diagrams in the next video, okay? Okay. Until then. Bye. Bye.